Hi, and thanks for joining me. It's Saturday 25th of May of the Springbank Holiday Weekend and I'm going to the Crick Boat Show. <laughs> the show is held over three days. In fact, this year it's being held over four days as they've done a preview day on the Friday. Um, not everything is available on the Friday and you do pay a little bit extra to go in on that day. So I've chosen to go today like I normally do. The Creek Boat Show is the largest inland waterways festival in Britain. It's been established for 20 years. In fact, this is the 20th year of the show. There's all sorts of things that go on there. Um, I just don't know where to begin really. You can go and buy a new boat, a narrow boat, a wide beam boat. There's live music, there's a real owl festival, there's all sorts of craft and food stores, all manner of things, um, chandlers, you can buy anything you want for your boat, new engine if you need it. <laughs> there's just so much going on. Now I did quite a, an in-depth look at the show last year and I'm hoping to do something slightly different this year. I don't know what until I get there, but I have put the link below to last year's boat show which um, gives you quite a good flavour as to what goes on. So I'll be setting off shortly to go down to the show and hope you'll join me. Well, I've just set off on my walk down to the Creek Boat Show. It's an absolutely glorious day. The sun is shining and I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be going up on that bridge and taking the bridal path which runs along that tree line there. This is quite a pleasant walk through here. I'll soon be down at the canal side and on the towpath and then not far away. You can see the show event in the distance. It's coming down onto the towpath now. This is one of the trip boats. They have three different boats running, departing every 10 minutes or so. This boat is being used for handling sessions. You can pay and as a group of four you have an hour on board. You each get 15 minutes. Another trip boat leaving the marina. This bridge is built especially for the show to allow access from the towpath side. Boats are double breasting and get more in that way at a cost as well. <laughs> well, I've just had a look at two boats built by Aintree Boats. One was a 40 foot boat, and the other was a 57 foot boat quite amazing how much they fitted into the 40-foot boat. <laughs> this was the first boat I looked at. It was a bit awkward to film inside as I had my backpack on, so I took still shots instead. I rather like the colour scheme of this boat, both inside and out. It was very pleasant. I then, from my vantage point on the deck of the boat, took a sweeping view of the marina. This is the second Aintree boat that I looked at in their Beetle range. This is 40 feet in length 
and the price is £54,950. Let's take a look inside this sail away. It comes with its walls and ceilings already lined. It also has central heating installed, a toilet and a shower, and is ready to be sailed away to be fitted out internally. In contrast, this boat which has no wall or ceiling linings, no central heating or services, needs a complete fit out and is therefore a much cheaper option to purchase. with Lynch Motors. We manufacture these motors in Devon. We have done for the last 30 years. You'll see here the uh, different technology that you will find in low voltage, high power DC motors. This motor will run on 24, 48, 72 volts for the marine market. This is a 30 horsepower, 48 volt drive system. They can power up to 60 foot narrowboat on the canal. Yeah, I'm 
This is the engine I have in my boat. Although mine's a bit older, the boat haven't been built in 2005. Hi Julie. Hi. Would you like to tell me a little bit about your artwork? Yeah, well, um, I've got lots of paintings here today, originals, prints, posters, cushions. Um, I'm normally painting acrylic ink, a really, really tiny paintbrush. Um, and I also paint in oils, but there's yeah, lots of different bits and pieces that I do. Oh, that's great. Let's take a look. Yeah. pedal backwards you will stop um, it's geared in such a way that you get gentle cadence with your legs but the props going eight times faster than the rotation of your legs This is Joanna from Negatively Buoyant and Fran and Rich from Floating Our Boat who I'm sure will be known to many of you. Thank you. 
I just bumped into John Barnard who's a professional boat painter he's based at Debdale Wharf where I took my boat last year to be blacked he has a very interesting series of YouTube videos that explains how to paint your boat and the ideal conditions in which to do them unlike me who's working canal side but there you go what was interesting was that he said that they've got a scheme where they will assist boaters to paint their boats possibly come out and help them for the odd day or provide some cover for them didn't go into uh, a lot of detail because um, I think it's too late for me <laughs> Well, I'm having a lovely day at the boat show. I've met a number of followers of the channel, which is very nice. So a special hello to you. That's Mark from Grand Cayman, Brian, Tim, and Ken and Jez. It was lovely talking to you. I've also met one or two others who haven't given me their names, but uh, altogether very pleasant. So I hope you're enjoying your day. And look who I found. Jono from Journey with Jono. David from Cruise in the Cut and Lorna from London Boat Girl. Not to forget Molly as well. I hope you've enjoyed this look around the boat show. Many thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.